for Victor, but it's not like he's going to be under a huge amount of threat. He can just look to farm this one out. Uh, the mid jungle 2v2 is pretty much meh because you don't really have much in the way of CC either side. So either way, you're kind of looking at, hey, look, Angel, just farm it out. Same with Knight. And instead, do some CS to turn or get bullied a little bit. He's just going to take it on the chin. This is going to be SOFM starting us off with the Drakes here as he's able to just solo out the first one. No contest whatsoever from the side of Kasa. He was on the top half of the map. And Angel maybe finds himself ganked, but should be able to just walk away from this one realistically. Actually, Shockwave going to be used. Doesn't have to flash though. Gets away, gets the stun onto Kasa. Ultimately, SOFM does get the Dragon. And it's at the cost of nothing for Sue. In this matchup, I don't mind using the Shockwave as a force at a lane because you don't have the kill threat. But maybe some kills coming in over Ooh. this. Let's go. Sooning actually puts Kasa to sleep there on that one. Joel going to be pushed away by the Maokai as well. Hong Fong is here. I I'm kind of confused. Okay. If <laughs> Joel was closer... He's, He's a tree. I yeah, I wasn't sure, because if Joe was closer, he could have gone for the, the flash head, but pulverize, and you've got a lot of damage there that can come through very quickly, Ooh. especially for the AP man. Speaking of damage here, we've got SOFM moving towards the top side. Does not have the ultimate available, I think. There's some damage onto oh, very 369, soon, who's just staying in the 2v1 here. Counter-Strike goes on through, dodged by Bin, though. That was a beautiful ultimate coming out. SOFM now trying to get away. Is going to drop the sleep onto Kasa, but the fear is magnificent. Magnificent, and Bin's gonna go down too. Casa rampages his way through a double kill. Now we gotta find Tracy. the bottom side as well. His Jackie Love goes in. Should have the ultimate. Not great. I'd rather see them instead use that pressure to snowball the other lanes. Because Knight's gonna be fine just farming up. Get 369 ahead. Get Jackie Love ahead as well. Specifically, you can get very quickly through this amount of shield bow into collector. That two item spike is so, so strong. Presence could try and look for the dive i guess here i don't think they'll be able to finish this tower off unless they really commit sofm now gonna be the target as he's taken so much damage cause has basically 1v1 him and knight sweeps up the kill honors arrived has a lot of cc but it's there's just not enough damage out from angel casa walks away and with jackie love and this is something that i think top esports are going to be able to use quite a bit to snowball players like knight and even 369 in the top here alongside sofm as they try and stop the snowball onto 369 here. Hextech Ultimatum keeps him in the fight, but the counter strike and the damage onto SOFM. Sleep onto the jacks, but is it gonna be enough? Apparently, yes. It's one for one now as each of them goes down. Castle once again arriving late to the party and sweeping up the kills. Joe's having around. Knight is moving with him. On does have his uh, W available. Castle goes underneath the tower and takes a tower shot for his trouble as well. In they go and Bin grabs the kill, but Knight is here to try and answer for the situation. A lot of damage available on this Oriana as he looks for Bin, walks away but gets taken bound down by the W. It's answered. Juo walking away, but Huan Fung cleans it up with a surprise. I should get away with that one. Way over. Oh, he didn't though, did he? I so, don't no, there's think no sleep. That they can there's no chase sleep. for this one. Yeah, yeah the thing no here though is. They still have control over this top side though. So as long as you still stop the back series SOFM and maybe get the kill. Get okay, the kill. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, All this right. is why I love SOFM. Just chase him down, but here's Karsa, because every time you die here's top lane, Karsa gets a kill. Yeah. Karsa is looking for more sweep up kills in the top side of the map here. Gets one for a bit. two to exploit this matchup coming up. Carson? Ooh, stun onto Carson. There's a lot of damage from Juan Fong as well. That's an easy kill. And now onto 369. We'll be able to get the stun onto one, I think, there. But he's taken down. Bin with a double kill. That should be a couple of towers. But the answer now from Top Esports is they run straight in the mid lane. I don't know how long they can stick around, though. You can see Sunin are collapsing. Wait. You can... <laughs> How is Maokai ult a projectile? Anyway, on to Jackie Love they go. Stun comes on through. Exhaust is there, but Bin flashes straight after him. Let's try and shut this kill down, but the life steal is there. And Bin can't shut it down. Angel's the one to fall instead. Now Bin trying to retreat once more as Duo is there. Trying to get onto SOFM. Flash forward onto Jackie Love, but the life steal is just insane. Jackie Love somehow surviving. Gets the ult, but he goes down eventually. And Duo is finished off. Another double for Bin. God, that was too close to fight. He's going, nah, but I believe with these seven kills, I can fight. Hang on. He's just found himself in a 1v4. So, uh, seven kills or not, Finn, yeah. you're going to go down there. That's a huge shutdown as well. So, massive injection of gold to the side of top esports. I believe that was neither got kill, if I'm not mistaken. So, 
Fantastic pick. Now they can teleport in. They're looking at Baron. This is a huge blunder on the side of Tsuna. And it's very easy for them to turn as well. Joe can hide off in this bot side, as you can see here, baiting in Sooning. And with that flash. Oh no, it's all gone wrong for Sooning. SOFM eradicated. Now three players remaining for Sooning. No smite on their side either. They're looking for a pick on Joe, but the damage just isn't there from Angel. Alistair is so damn tanky. Teleport available for Bin in four seconds when he respawns. There is a ward in the pit. He's going to go with the rest of the team. 2,000 off the Baron. Here we go. Castle looking for the smite. But the Baron will be taken. Can they get the fight though? Because Sooning starting things off with a kill. But it's Angel to take, be taken down by this rampaging horsey in the jungle. Looks like Sooning has... Honestly, Sooning are built more around playing for the engage from top east. But when Zhuo is able to get in behind Sooning like that, they cannot set up correctly. Pick, even if it's a good pick elsewhere, really not a good pick in this matchup. No, it's not working out for the past call. And I don't know if Sooning got caught. Oh, level from Zhuo goes he in. Zhuo, he's been looking for the engage this entire series, and he's finally found the perfect one. 369 stopping the rest of the team coming in. And Sooning, they just lose on with no answer available whatsoever. They're still trying to contest this one. Four versus five. Another knockup comes out from Zhuo. In they go. Bin with a kill to start things off, but it's answered by Top Esports as they all jump into the fray. But they're taken down. One Fong is the one on the scene, and he's looking for more. He's looking for multi kills as the triple comes on through and bin finishes the fight god joe he sooning though do have this push on mid lane and maybe looking to run away with us they want to try and force this fight top esports are threatening that draw goes in onto sofm but a bit of damage traded is all that's going to happen 369 though silenced and taken down good start to the fight here for the side of sooning Carsa jumps in but he doesn't get the fear onto anyone and the damage is more than answered as bin jumps into the back line trying to run distraction and the hextech ultimatum is the end of the enemy's life in they all go and down they fall jacket of doesn't have their life still knight flashes out but on's gonna chase him down autos to croak for a bit of health but it's not enough but it is enough for them to start to hammer away in the mid lane angel is mvp in these fights his control of everywhere the top esports is trying to approach Sooning has been immaculate in this game and that's what netted them the win there and potentially this series win as well as Sooning they're looking to end they are looking to snowball this one Pong Pong onto the towers Knight is here desperately trying to defend great Zonyas to bait a lot of abilities out but it is not enough to survive one tower remaining oh but SOFM goes down it's an execute and Knight has done it he's managed to stop them yeah, trading his life to kill the minions was the best call there. Making sure that there's no way that Sunin are able to end. Now Sunin have got a scamper with their tail between their legs. And Top Esports can walk straight over towards this dragon and get the soul for themselves. Or even the Baron if that's what they want. It's like the Baron is the call right now for Top Esports. Which is a little bit more dangerous because they will take some damage from this. Maybe Sunin can re-engage. They won't have SOFM here. But I... That doesn't necessarily mean they're afraid of fighting. It looks like they're still too far away, though, because you can see Wong Funk just leaving base. On moving over towards the dragon. Sooning are going to trade neutral objectives by the looks of these things. And look, uh, from top esports side of things, they've got to get use out of this. Because right now, look at the scoreboard for this. Game. Nine and three for this of Camille. Ten. Champion. Bin going to be the one in the river right now, trying to set up some kind of engage for his team he is not afraid to stand very aggressively he's on that camille so you can do that 369 is almost taken out immediately but he survives for now as bin is the one who's uh, managing to go into the ga gets the kill on the enemy top lane and jackie love goes into the back line one fong in the ga and the rest of the team following up but it's jackie love that's in trouble instead one fong survives as the rest of sooning managed to protect him it's been surviving. Jackie Love goes down after the GA. Juo is not long for this world either. Angel now chased down by Carter, but he doesn't have the damage to finish the enemy mid laner off a double kill for Angel. And Knight suddenly finds himself alone. SOFM wants to chase this one down. I think Knight will get out with his life. 
This is so beautiful. Oh, SOFM. Hang on. I could have been wrong on that one. The dots are ticking here. SOFM. 1v1 by the enemy mid laner. That was a little bit too much as he was trying to stop the recalls here. Knight has to teleport back into the base because Sooning are trying to close things out right here. The inhib will fall. There is one Nexus Tower remaining. Knight has his Shockwave available. It is all on his shoulders as it always seems to be. I don't know if he's got what it takes to stop them ending the game. They jump in onto the Orianna just to end the game and clear the series. And Sooning! We'll find the exact same result from World Semi-Finals. It's the 2-0 sweep that honestly, I don't think anyone expected coming into this series. With the gaping hole that had been left by Sword Art, Sooning over the offseason, I did-